So, uh, yesterday I conducted an experiment to see if um, a mountain bike can compete with a road bike. Uh, the route I took is an old railway line. It's not really gravel, but it's not really road either. So the first sort of six, eight miles is on a kind of track, which is fine. You can take a road bike on it, no problem. And then you come off the track onto a, a back road, which has got some hilly bits and a downhill bit, and then you go through a little gravel bit, and then you come to some really, a really steep hill called Warren Wood which is up to 20% gradient and back it's about 25 miles altogether now I tried to keep up the sort of pace I would take on a road bike and I managed to maintain 15-16 miles an hour until I got to the steep hill then I was down to 3 miles an hour so the answer to my question um, is that yes you can go as quick on a mountain bike but this is a kind of special mountain bike it's got carbon NV wheels, it's pretty lightweight, it's all carbon, it's got an NV carbon um, bar and stem and all the rest of it. It's about 13, 14 kilos. Um, my average speed on the way out was 13 miles an hour, which is about the same as a road bike, average speed with the hilly bits. Uh, but the difference is it's incredibly hard work. You have to spin much quicker your cadence has to be up at 80, 90 miles, 80, 90, which is much higher than my usual, which is about 60, 70 on a road bike. It's utterly exhausting. Um, on the way out, um, I must have been doing 200 watts average the whole way. I was completely wiped out by the, by the outward journey. On the way back, I was bonking, I was dehydrated. I just wanted to lie down and sleep. So the answer is yes, you can go as quick, but it's not efficient. And I think the obvious reason is the aerodynamics. You're in an upright position, a sort of position you would take to slow down really on a, on a road bike. You're always in that position on a mountain bike. You're, you cannot get an aero position. You're spread out and you're high up. So your aerodynamics are shot to bits. The other difference is weight, but I'm 100 kilos, so weight doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, I found, I mean, it's got, I think, a 28 on the front, maybe a 32 on the front, and a 42 on the back, one by 11. The gears make hills, I mean, actually, quite one revelation was that on a one particular hilly bit, it's a 6% gradient followed by a, a few little hilly bits. It's about a mile, two miles. I actually set a new record over my road bike times. Possibly because I've never really tried on the road bike quite as hard as I did on this. But on that bit I set a new PR which was really a shock to me. On the really steep hill, the one that goes 10 to 20% gradient. I wasn't far off the road bike time, um, but I was absolutely, I mean really pushing it to the point. Heart attack territory. So it's about efficiency. You can do amazing things with a with a with a lightweight mountain bike. Obviously, I locked out the suspension, so it was pretty pretty stiff. I've also got a scalpel, which is a, a lighter version of this, less suspension. And I'm going to try it next to see if it's if it's quicker. I know I've carried 23 miles an hour on the flat on the scalpel. So it's just an experiment really. I don't do mountain biking anymore. I can't be bothered with it bouncing around and all the rest of it. It's obviously comfier. Um, and you can obviously, if you want to divert to do a bit of off-road, you've got that benefit. But it's an interesting experiment. I mean, my thighs were shot to bits. I got cramps afterwards and it was tough. But I think it was an interesting experiment and I was amazed to see some PRs. Um, on the flat I was 2-3 miles an hour slower on average. But my average speed was about 13.5 miles an hour until I hit the hill. Which is pretty impressive really. Um, so there you go. But then again this is not a normal mountain bike. It's a very high end, very expensive Cannondale Trigger Black Ink. And that's the end of this video.